How long has it been since we were last here? 20 years? Yes, uh, yeah. I think it was the last Thanksgiving we spent with your dad, because he died that following February. You know, I remember your grandmother was so annoyed because Uncle Spiglin didn't even bother to come to the funeral. Yeah, and there, there's that guy who, like he was, got escorted out by the cops or something, or some guys in uniform. I, in and out. Yeah, in and out of that. I can't there's, remember. Yeah. I can't remember a lot of that. I remember when that happened, and there was just a lot of whispering, and nobody would talk about it. And then a couple weeks later, you know, I was sitting with Aunt Muggy in the, in the garden. She, she had that monkey, I don't know if, if you remember. And I asked her about those guys. She didn't remember anything, and that's just kind of how it always is. Nobody remembers anything about anybody ever. Selective memory loss. You know, I was just thinking about that monkey the other day. I mean, was it was a monkey, right? It was like a spider monkey. It was a little monkey, long arms and legs. Like, wasn't it chimp or anything, this little spider monkey? Well, whatever happened to that monkey? My mom said that Aunt Muggy told her that it had a fit and it died. We are a fun family. Mm. So, why do you think Uncle Spiglin called us here today? He comes in, it's 5.45 right now, so 6-ish. I can't believe he's coming home. Did you see that article he wrote? Yeah, I can't believe Uncle Spiglin hates Louisville. I don't understand why. I love Louisville. Vegan pizza right down the street, great people, great art. I know, I don't understand either. I'm just glad he's gonna help me with this while he's here. Me too. Thanks for helping me. No problem. Have you ever done anything like this before? Cause I haven't. No, I try to stay away from this kind of stuff, but... We have to know why your sister did what she did. Yeah, I'm glad to hear from my sister again. Did you bring the candles? Yeah, they're right here. Did you bring the sage? No, sage is for exorcisms, not seances. I told you a million times, the sage is for the cleansing after the seance. We may not get just her, sometimes we get something darker too. Oh well. Oh well. So let me get this right. We, we have the same uncle? Apparently so. I never knew Edgar, I only knew Spigland. He was my mom's uncle. I only ever knew Edgar, I never knew Spigland because my grandpa only ever spoke about his stepbrother, Edgar. So what's, what's Spigland like? He's just this uncle we only see once every Christmas every other year or so. He disappeared after his brother Edgar died in that train accident 20 years ago. Wait, a train accident? My dad told me he ran off to the circus and died trying to tame a lion. The circus? No, he ran out of track. I don't know, maybe Spigland will set us straight once he gets here. What do you think? Maybe he just wants a seance and he needs two relatives to do it. I don't know. All I know is it's four in the morning and I need sleep. I hear you, but what if this place is haunted? No, I think those rumors are just out there to scare people off from stealing. So you've heard them then? Uncle Edgar's portrait coming to life, killing you just before you get to the door? I, I don't believe those. I mean, why would Spiglin call us here just to have his portrait of his brother kill us before we get to the door? Maybe you're right, I bet it's nothing. Oh dear God, it moved. Do I seriously have to be here right now? Yes, Uncle Spiglin wants you here. It's gonna be so awkward. What could we possibly have to talk about after 10 years? I barely even remember him. It's not awkward, he's family. He had a Hitler mustache, a haircut like Spock, and sang Christmas carols in Elvish. What could possibly be awkward? He's family. We need to be here. He said he had news, something that could change our lives. Mom, the man got me a broadsword for my birthday. 
It was a very nice gift. I was eight. He was just trying to be thoughtful. More like thoughtless. I just need for you not to embarrass me. And if you behave, I will take you for Starbucks after. Make it a skinny, half-calf, salted caramel latte and a blueberry muffin, and I might consider it. Fine. Deal. There's nothing I can do about it now, Aaron. I'm in Louisville, and we'll be back in LA until Monday. Talk to you later. Oh, hey, Lynn, how are you? Hey. Oh, you look terrible. Gosh, Marcy, haven't seen you in years, and that's the first thing you say to me? We're cousins after all. Don't forget my marriage and twice removed, but I'm just saying, a little makeup wouldn't kill you. So, Uncle Spiglin, wasting my time, why? I could be in Hollywood getting a mani-pedi. I'm not sure. The last time I seen him was six years ago. He was hanging from the chandelier in the living room, in his underwear. <laughs> oh yes, I remember that loony. He sure could use one of my Valiums. So what do you think he wants? I'm not sure. Hopefully he's dying or something. I could use some of his money. A brand new BMW or some antique jewels. Really, Marcy? Dying? I'm just stating the obvious. What if he gives us the mansion? Oh god, no. This place is hideous. I wouldn't be caught dead living here. I shouldn't have even been here this long. Where is Uncle Spinglin anyway? I'm not sure. I have to go to work soon. Who invites people over when they're not even home? I don't have all day. Yeah, I don't know. Something seems weird about this. We haven't seen Uncle Spiggle in, what, five years since Dad's funeral? Yeah, and we all know that long sad story. The drugs, the money. Then he drove his car into your dad's funeral. That's when I said I never want to see him again. Now you got me over here looking like a woman of no principles. You look fine. I'm surprised he's kept the house through all of this, though. I know, it's so dusty in here, it's giving me a headache. Here, take one of these. What is this? It's just an allergy pill. What, do you think we're gonna liven this place up some? You're gonna end up just like Uncle Spigland. No, I dust my place once a month. You know what I mean. You know, maybe Uncle Spigland's gonna put us in his will or something. Have you thought about that? Yeah, and he doesn't have any kids. Maybe you're right. Okay then, we'll keep our fingers crossed. And look at you, you didn't even wanna come. I wonder why we were called Uncle Edgar's mansion. I don't know. I thought he died years ago and was haunting this place. He didn't, but it did almost happen 10 years ago because of his wife, Marge. Now she could be a haunt. Oh, she made that man so bitter. Why was she so mean? I don't know, but her trickery did more than that. She tried to poison him. Oh, good thing the popo caught up to her. But what do we do now? Edgar, Uncle Edgar should be able to explain if he ever gets here. I mean, why send us a letter telling us not to be late if he's going to be late himself? I don't know, but... What the... <gasps> Ghost! Shut it. Hey, Morgan. What's up, Brandon? When did you get out of jail? Never you mind that. You're going to pay for sending me there. Now you're really getting your eyes gouged out. What do you think? After all this time, what do you think he wants? I don't know. His letter wasn't very descriptive. Meet me at these coordinates, the drawing room. We need to talk. 10 years, 10 long years. I didn't think there was anything else to say. I didn't think he was still alive. I didn't think you were still alive until two days ago. Technically, I'm not. I am. Uh, possessing Uncle Wembley and all that. So what do you think he wants? You knew him better than I did, after all. Depends on your definition of new. Ship me off to live with Aunt Meredith in Guatemala a year after he shipped you out. Wait, didn't Aunt Meredith get turned into that fish bear monster in Living Guam? Nah, that was her third clone. I was living with the first Aunt Meredith. Remember, the clone was from the future? Oh, yeah. Whatever happened to the first Aunt Meredith? You know, not all her clones? I think she fled to Mongolia, living with those time-displaced Romans. I thought old man McGucket wiped those guys out. Nah, he's still buried under that South American pyramid. So about Uncle Spiglin? Honestly, I got nothing. Last time I saw him was during that whole fiasco with the Andrew Jackson lich. 
What about you? I think it was during the mass time traveling Hitler invasion. Oh uh, yeah, I remember that. I killed werewolf Hitler. Yeah, I remember. That was fun. So where the heck is the guy? So what do you think this is about? I don't know. When was the last time you even heard from Uncle Spagland? Ten years ago, maybe? He came to my birthday party, right? Bought me that car. Do you still have that? No, sold it. It got terrible miles to the gallon. Oh, yeah. What's that? I don't know. Addressed to us. What does it say? Kids, I'm glad you could come. Don't worry, I'm not dead yet. Just wanted to give you two a moment together before I came in to get your answer. What answer? Shh. I've called you here, as you probably guessed, because my time has run out. The doctor says I may only have a few months left, but it's time to get my affairs in order. You'll find out all the specifics when my will is read, but the long and short of it is that I have left everything to you two. What? Do you know how much money that is? Enough that it doesn't matter. Everything includes, of course, the ownership of my company. The board will be happy for you two to be figureheads, of course, or to buy your shares, but I'd like you to, to consider being involved. It's been in our family for generations. If only you could find it in your hearts to forgive me for... What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Aha! Rat poison in a tea kettle? What are you gonna do with that? I'm gonna kill him. You know, something has to be done. I have to do something. He's gonna get it. You sick piece of shit on your niece. You don't have to do this, Miranda. Stop, Miranda, you'll go to jail. Are you gonna help me or not? Do 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 do